Hey guys, it's me, Sadie the Baby, and I'm back in business. So you see, there is this thing in front of my face. And I have this question for all you guys. If you made a vault, would you want to protect it? Not, not with like lava or anything like that, but with a password. If you do want to protect it with a password, then you come to the right place. Because today, I'm going to tell you how to make a color combination, no, a password protected color combination lock. Yeah. Now, let me show you how it works first. If I press this, then that, then that piston moves. Like, well, let me show you again so you can see actually. Yep, just like that. And then, if I was to get the wrong password, it would work. And that's what I'm going to make today. So let's start off right next to it. So first, you want to get all of these colors, right? All of these colors. And then you would stack them like this. Two, three. Four. But then you would do this. Five, six, seven, eight. Because one of the sides has to be like uneven. And that's why. So now that we got rid of all the wool and at the then we go to the piston, fix the piston, or stuff like that. And so you would double the piston, as in this, like, you would do this, and then you would put your piston facing that way, wait, no, this has to be sticky pistons, and then the spring wall has to be up here, then, we would have two pistons right here, and piston right there, and the piston right there, or, yeah. So, wait, actually it has to be like this. Yeah. Make this even. I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's actually how it works. So, first it would be these two pistons, which I'm going to do for this side. And. Just saying, this isn't very compact, so you you are the one that want that's gonna make it compact if you really want it. I'm just gonna use some red wool for this to work. Then we do this. Wait, no, the pistons have to be perfect like that, and then we would do that. Then we would hook it up with the other stuff and the other button. And this first part works, right? Oh, wait, it has to be like all the way. Like that. And then you would get a bunch of other redstone. You hook that up and that, that up. And then you would. Wait, you would do that, then you would hook both of that up, and then this side has to be like this, so you would get two redstone up here, 
and put this thing up. Now I'm pretty sure this. Yep, it works just like that. Okay, now we have to get some important stuff. So we get some glass and some stone. Now, for this, it's your choice. My choice is going to be the uh, the um the white. No, I. I'm going to put my stone on this um bright blue um wall. And then I'm gonna put glass for all the others. You see? And because this glass isn't like a isn't like a solid block, then the redstone pulse won't go through it. But since this stone is, then you can put redstone up here. Oops. My bad. And you could just hook it up. And then, you would probably need to make a line for this. So I'm just going to do that right here. It's just going to wrap all around, all around, and end up being where this button is. Hmm. Like this. And then probably just gonna dig down underneath here. Like that. And then I'll need to do the same for this. So I'll break that. Then I'll put it up here because it's probably a very long time to get through. There. But first, I need to put her up here there so these two don't line up. And then, I will need to make one of those circuits where it works like, where the button works like a lever. I think you know how that works. So, I will need to place the piston there, there, and then the rest of them appear there. And so, then, you would just get you would just hook this up to your um vault door, like so, but this is just a sticky piston for example, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's how it works guys. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I'll see you next time.